Hello, today we would like to present you a product portfolio planning application and dashboard implemented in SAP Analytics Cloud as our pioneering step in the avant-garde domain of visual planning. We will demonstrate an innovative approach to planning by foregoing the use of any tables and instead rely on visual components only. The application is centered around a sports good manufacturing and retail company that needs to plan its product portfolio for different markets and regions for next season. The tool aims to help planners select which products to manufacture and assign quantities to them in order to meet the company goals. We'll select Europe as our market in today's case together with its three regions, Western, Central and Eastern Europe. The first step in the process would be to select products from four available categories – footwear, clothing, sports equipment and accessories. The left-hand side of the screen hosts a graphical product pool consisting of thumbnails for all articles available for a selected category. The new designs for the season are marked with a tag in the top right corner. When a thumbnail is selected, the article details panel on the right side of the pool is filled with relevant information. It displays article IDs, description, product type, retail price and the colors the article is sold in. Older products on the market have a rating as an additional stat signifying how well the article has been received by the public. The panel also contains a chart showing the number of articles planned for the respective category in the previous years and a KPI tile showing the average sales price for the category. Those metrics could be used in order to decide how much products from each category should go in our portfolio. For example, we see that footwear and clothing are the categories with most articles in the previous year's mix and the ones with largest ASP as well. The chart can also act as a ear selector to the KPI tile. Clicking on the bar for 2018, for example, would result in the visualization of ASP for the respective year. As all bar charts in SAP Analytics Cloud, this one has a built-in feature visualizing the delta between any two bars whenever they are selected. The info button in the top bar opens a panel with information on important sports events in the current and past few years in order to allow the user to take them into account. Let's add a few products to the mix for Central Europe. To add products to the portfolio, simply click on their pictures to select them, then click on the Add Selected button next to our chosen region. Once a set of articles is submitted, the planner can proceed with quantitative planning. The goal of the second step is to allocate quantities to the selected articles so that the total gross sales target for the region and market is met. The projected gross sales for the portfolio is calculated using the price and quantity of an article and is used for the comparison versus the target gross sales. On the left hand side of the screen, one can find the quantitative planning menu. As a starting point, the articles selected in the previous step are automatically filled in. The planner has the option to type exact values for each article or use the modifier field to add or subtract quantities or make percentage changes to the existing value. In case a mistake is made, the plan can be reverted to its initial state. In this step, the product details panel is again available to help us with our decision-making process accompanied by a small cluster of charts we call the insights panel. The KPI tiles in the top left corner show us the total projected gross sales together with the absolute and percentage delta to the company's target gross sales. The KPI tiles would be updated whenever the quantities planned are changed and feature color thresholds in order to guide the planner towards acceptable values. Right next to them we find a donut chart showing the category split for the total market. Finally, at the bottom there is a pre-configured search of insights chart. Search of Insights is an SAP Analytics Cloud built-in feature that allows us to ask questions about the data and let the system find the answers and visualize them. To accomplish this, the platform uses natural language processing machine learning algorithms. For example, the planner could ask what are the top or bottom three products for Europe and then further specify the category in footwear 
and the KPI for gross sales. Now, let's change the quantities for the selected articles in order to reach the targets and conclude the planning process. Once all regional plans are complete, the management can utilize a global portfolio dashboard. The goal of this step is to recognize inefficiencies and enable synergies between the products. The dashboard provides an overview on all portfolio plans and makes it easy to identify the most and least desirable articles for the market. This greatly simplifies the decision-making and refinement process surrounding the product strategy. On top, we see a general overview of the projected gross sales per category as well as a comparison with the company's targets in form of a variance bar chart. The chart shows totals for the four product categories as well as deviations from the company targets in absolute values and percentages. Right beside the bar chart, we have a donut chart visualizing the general market split and two KPI tiles showing the total numbers for quantities and projected gross sales. All those charts serve the purpose to show the general outlook of our portfolio and help the manager identify any discrepancies. The bar chart and the donut chart serve as a filter to the remaining components. Once a bar or a sector is selected, that would trigger a filtering action for most of the components on the canvas. In the bottom section, there is a core chart dedicated to show the relationship between markets, the articles they have selected, and the plant quantities. The chart makes it especially easy to identify articles that make up a large percent of the portfolio of a market or articles adopted by too few markets. For example, it might not be feasible for the company to manufacture an article and sell it on a single market only. To the right, there is a bubble diagram that shows the best products according to the plan. Quantities are shown on the x-axis, price on the y-axis and gross sales as the size of the bubble. Each bubble also features a tooltip with additional information, for example, the number of markets that adopted the product. Different categories can be easily highlighted by clicking on the legend. This component makes it easy to spot outliers and take actions. Using the toggle switch, we can also display a different set of charts that feature a ranking of the top and bottom 5 products for the current selection as well as their pictures. The chart tooltips are again available. After the review of the plan is complete, the user can use the built-in discussions feature of SAP Analytics Cloud in order to share findings with peers. That was the end of today's presentation. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more innovative apps from Dalbear.